What is going on guys? My name is David the Virtual Trucker and welcome back to the first American Truck Simulator mod review. This is the Freightliner Century Stand-Up Sleeper. This mod can be purchased at the Peterbilt Truck Dealer. So let's go ahead and jump right in. See, we're in the customizer now. I'd like to thank ATSmod.lt for this hacked profile as I'm not doing this on my regular profile. It only comes with one cabin option being the stand-up sleeper, which I think looks pretty good, but I'd love to see a day cab option since these are very common day cabs where I live. In addition to that, it only comes with one chassis option, which you can see is a 6x4. Um, you can't, the fuel tanks aren't exposed, so I can't really show you those. Now this is where one of this mod really shines is when the engine options. You've got multiple ISX, CAT, uh, Detroit Diesel, uh, Pack R and CAT engines. So we've got the 370s and the 380s. So these are the 300s. Within going down to the 400s, you've got many a brand. You've got a 625 going back to the 400s. There are quite a few engines in this mod. These are some default ones that come with the game. So I think that I'm going to go with a Detroit diesel engine and we'll be choosing this um, 515 horsepower one. Now we've got the transmission. This mod doesn't like on transmissions either as it uses every single one of the default transmissions. You've got the 10 speed, 13 speed, 10 speed with retarder, 18 speed, 16 speed, 13 speed with retarder, 18 speed with retarder, and 6 speed with retarder. I will be going with the 18 speed with retarder comes with one interior option, which for some reason has a Volvo FH16 picture. And this interior seems low quality, but once we get in game, we'll show the true potential. If we look around, you can see the seating position is very low. You've got a CB radio. Um, if you look around, the sleeper is very high up. You've got these curtains over here. You can see your passenger seat. Just kind of see out the window. You got a little Nokia uh, cell phone and a coffee mug, it looks like, which is pretty cool. Now, it doesn't come with very many colors. You've got Stormy Blue, Bronze Autumn, Sunlight Silver, Black Knight, Deep Aquamarine, and then you can, Aquamarine, and then you can do a custom color or a custom metallic color. I like this metallic color, so I'll stick with that. Now, customization on this truck is fairly um, intensive. You've got these, which are in Russian, so I can't read. It looks like you've got some yellow bumper lights and you've got some uh, transparent ones. So I'll select the transparent ones. You've got for the door steps, which appear to be maybe right here, you've got Ninja. Oh, I see. It's it's like the side skirt. There's a the fuel tank. You've got Ranger, Serpent, and Stock, which completely removes it. I'm going to stick with Ninja since I like that the best. We've also got hood mirrors, which I'm not a big fan of, but I mean, if you really have visibility issues with this truck, I'll keep those on. Now we've also got a, a wind deflector, which I don't really like the way that looks, so I'll keep that off. Though that's on the interior. On the light bar, you can have um, some roars, T800 roars up here, which are pretty cool, but obviously I don't think are functional at this time. Sun visor is not changeable, but you have plastic, chrome, and chrome with plastic handles, so I'll select these. This dot uh, adds smoke to the top, which is pretty cool. I think I'll keep that in. This mod uh, not only includes all of the basic SCS rims, it includes two custom rims, uh, chrome and plastic rims. I'm going to select the chrome rims. And it also has its own custom tires, which are labeled as Fred for some reason. Not that that's a problem. Fred is a very nice name. Now we've, um, door steps. Now we've also got the side skirts, which are actually racing stripes going down the side. You've got blue and orange. Uh, right here, Krilla. It says that that needs to be removed. So Krilla appears to just be a completely stripped out, almost off-road, um, appeal of the truck. So I will go ahead and add back on that and get rid of that. That was a bit... Odd. So that seems to cover all the customization options on the outside. Now on the interior, it has this extra, which is labeled as extra. If we go to the front view, see? You can't actually see it. It's a bit odd, but see. There's this extra here, which is a 
Rada Extra, which is a dash camera. Got your side mirrors. Got that extra, which we couldn't figure out what did. If we look around the interior again, over here. Mirrors and various other things. So let's just kind of absorb this interior. So you've got your three pedals, you've got your clutch, gas, and brake. And the interior seems low quality in the textures, which is might be a problem in the future. Let's go back outside. You can see we've got our truck here. We'll take a quick little picture of it in all of its lovely glory. Um, go ahead and see it. As you can see, we're in the Peterbilt in San Diego. We're going to go ahead and uh, purchase this truck. Oh, I guess I don't have any space left, so we're going to go ahead and trade in my current Kenworth for this Freightliner. Now I've got my Logitech G27 hooked up, and immediately as we hop in, I discover this is almost undrivable from the default camera angle. As you can see, the Freightliner wheel is actually slightly crooked. Um, if I remember, I will go ahead and drop a picture of my steering wheel versus what it actually looks like. My steering wheel is actually it's slightly to the right um, of where my steering wheel actually is. But you can see it's actually got a very interesting turning radius. I guess meant to be almost uh, realistic, um, which is pretty cool. Um, if we look around our interior, you can see we can turn all the way around. See, we've got a microwave, a TV, and bunk beds, which is pretty cool. We've got, also got, looks like to be speakers, and obviously our curtains. We've got our various gauges, which look like air pressure, fuel, and some, obviously, speedo, uh, tachometer, various um, trucking things. You've got your parking brake over there, which does not um, operate to its full extent. Um, so we're going to go ahead and adjust this driving position, because I don't think I can drive like this, honestly. going to move our head up. We're also going to move our seat up and back, because you need to be able to see your mirror, at least one of your mirrors, right? So, you can see that as soon as as that happened, we our GPS came up, and it's actually a Sony-branded GPS, and now our parking brake actually works, now that we've moved. So you can see that move. Start up our engine. You can see we can cycle through gears using the red indicator on the side. Ratios, which I prefer these. So let's um, hop into seventh and let's take her for a drive, shall we? Let's see how the reverse sound is. Sounds like the default Euro truck one, actually. Pretty interesting. Let's just take a short load coming out of here in San Diego. Take the shortest load we can get. Just going up to Los Angeles, taking. Seems to be some clothes. Sounds good. Put the little delivery. It's actually turning, trying to turn my driver's head in game is very uh, irritating because the curtain's right there and you can't actually remove that curtain. It's pretty irritating. I do like the digital speedometer and you can see the indicators do pop up on their corresponding sides and Although there's only a high beam indicator, but you can see the light switches, um, the high beam switches at least, actually move uh, down in the bottom right of my screen, if you can see, your screen. Let's, ha let's take a minute to check out the um, light patterns as well. So we're go gonna go ahead and turn on our front auxiliary high beam and see if the beacon does anything, I doubt it. Oh, it does! I think the beacon actually turns on an interior light back there. Pretty cool. See here, we've got actually a black smoke coming out, including the earth, obviously. We've got our lights um, all around the truck. You see we've got two extra brake lights right there, which actually function as indicators as well. Pretty cool. And it seems like there's some going to be some very impatient drivers soon, so let's get up. We were supposed to turn, weren't we? Uh-oh. Let's make a U-turn here. A three-point turn, more like. Visibility is very poor in this truck. 
I can barely see my front end, and without that window flexor, I might not be able to see it at all. Kind of riding the rev limiter here. The, due to the um, extremity of the horsepower, it's very easy just to kind of floor it right up to the rev limiter. And go back to 10th, 7th, down to 4th. We'll start up in 7th, though. Is it police? we got to be careful not to run the red light. See, that smoke effect is very nice, actually. I kind of like it. I mean, I've never used it before, even on any mod, but... And those mud flaps, the custom mud flaps, also look very nice. You've got the like, warning label on them. Oh, that is fourth. Head up over here to the 4-2 print. This isn't a trailer mod. We're just taking the default 4-2 print curtained uh, dry van trailer with our clothes in it. You can see. I think 4-2 print is supposed to be like a shirt company. It's actually just a 53-foot um, um, dry van. It's not even a curtain trailer. Normally I pull 4-2 print curtain trailers. So let's see how she handles in reverse because we haven't really had an opportunity to really... I messed up that turn so badly. Let's see. We'll link up and see how she handles with the trailer. See, I've got my hood mirrors, but it's extremely hard to see them. I actually completely forgot about them because I couldn't even see them. Default camera angle is so low that I could barely see out of the windshield in the first place. And if that bothers you like it does me, this mod is going to take some getting used to. Go ahead and hook up our trailer. Got our 4 2 print trailer, or, or print 4 2, whatever. Sworn it was 4 2 print, whatever. Yeah, it is, see? Takes off and forth with these. Although the physics on this truck are very nice, the aesthetics of the truck are nothing to be impressed by. Uh, so let's make our left. Here in San Diego. I mean, the interior, ha it has a ton of potential, but the low quality textures and the seemingly rushed cameras um, results in a fairly poor experience. We're just going to pull this trailer to the first rest stop on the interstate and we'll let you guys go there. I mean, even in 13th gear, it's accelerating pretty quickly with a uh, dry van on it. So we'll get up to about two over. And it's um, trying to maintain a rev here of about 11,000, but it's actually very hard. I've got my gas pedal pretty steady and I can't seem to get it to maintain 31 or 32. Now it's also very hard to tell where my truck is. See, I did a pretty good job of stopping there, but yeah, let's check out some of the other camera angles that we can do here. What's this camera angle? That's interesting. It's like a passenger seat or a dash cam? That might be for the dash cam that we had, and then obviously there's the cinematic camera angle. Pretty cool. The interior. I've got my keyboard right in front of me to do all this. There's no way I could bind all this to my wheel. Um. I'll be answering some common questions in a future video um, that you may have if you're new to the channel. Um, that'll kind of go in addition to my uh, introduction video, which should be pretty cool. Um, Alright, more insight on the mod now. So the gear shifts are very smooth and the clutch, um, although it will take getting used to just for obvious reasons that I'm obviously, well not obviously because you guys probably didn't know this, but I normally drive my W900 and the clutch on that is very different and I'm also used to driving a 13 speed. So this is quite a change in that too. I do really like the uh, the rev gauge and how colorful it is. It allows me to see not only the different yellow uh, ranges but the fuel saving green range in addition to where I should never be under any circumstance in the red and orange zone. So let's uh, get ready to turn here. I think we're good. It's kind of worth... Yeah, it's a red light, so let's go. Oh, that's not my turn. Never mind. We're gonna stop for at a fueling area, I don't think with the trailer we're legally allowed to stop at a motel considering that there's not even enough room for uh, me with a bobtail or there probably is anyway. So gonna get on the I-5 here. 
There's a garage up there. Maybe I'll come back and buy that after I let you guys go. Okay, check our mirror. Just kind of gun it. We are good. Although, there isn't actually, which I've noticed with a lot of other mods, is that there's no obvious um, blind spot with the cab itself. I haven't noticed much of a blind spot at all. What would be a really cool feature um, is if that clock actually functioned. Which, I know that that's probably... I can see it's actually turning fairly... It's actually really interesting, is that the clock, if you notice, um, up, it's the clock is actually turning. It's just not accurate with the game time. We're gonna see if we can get it up to to 75, maybe. Which seems to be what the cars around me are doing right now. Hello, cop. I'm only going 10 under. You can't do anything to me. Although, with my luck in this game, the cop will probably do something. Anyway, so this mod can be downloaded. Um, I'll leave a link down below to where you can download it. I'll upload it to... Google Drive. Maybe I'll, I'm going to upload it to Mega for you guys. Um, and I'll, I'll host all my mods on Mega um, that I review. Um, just for ease of access for you guys, the viewers. Um, instead of using like share mods or one of those paid sites that don't have very fast things, I'll just be using AdFly. Um, which is, I know it may irritate some people, but I'm not old enough to make revenue on YouTube and if and obviously, I'm only going to be making five bucks. Like, not, not even enough to buy like a meal in a month. So, and it, that is if I get lucky, and this whole YouTube thing works out reasonably. So, I'm gonna let you guys go here. Um, I'm gonna give this truck a rating out of ten. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Reason being, the physics are very, very nice, and the attention to detail in the mod could be improved heavily. The model itself is fairly high quality, but the textures and the extras were not translated well, and the textures um, seem to be low quality. Other than that, I highly uh, recommend you try this mod if you're a Freightliner fan or you're looking for a new mod to give a shot. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment below. Um, let me know what you like, let me know what I can work on. Um, leave your rating as well, like, like or dislike, I feel like I'm bagging here, but, and subscribe if you really like it. Uh, thank you for watching.